the fuck is this? How's it going? What is up, everybody? Let me move this logo. And D, how you doing? Uh, let me get rid of it. Who, <laughs> who do we have here? We got Great Tantrum. Water level team from Donkey Kong. You know, that's really grown on me. I really like that one. Because uh, I was never a Donkey Kong fan or anything, so I didn't even recognize it. But the more I listen to that, that's like... Probably more, maybe one of my favorite of Decepticon's pieces. Decepticon himself is here. We'll turn it down a little bit. We don't really need Karen talking when I can read, you know? Uh, Decepticon says, Oh ye, Rogue says, Always right as I go to bed. Entertain me while I slip between the sheets. Disgusting. Correct tantrum with the spiders, says Rogue. Aunt D says, Afternoon, how are we? Aunt D, I'm doing fantastic. I hope you're doing well. Are we ready for another bombshell? Another bombshell announcement. Um... Tradition is here, says must take a spider ages to get into pajamas. That that one, you know, tickled tickled me just nicely. Good morning from here, says Great, Ta great Tantrum. Good morning to you, Great Tantrum. From wherever you are. Uh, if you're saying morning, that means you are behind me. You in America? Or maybe you're far in the future. Maybe you're Australian. Superfly says, wakey, wakey. Hands off, snakey. Don't ever tell me what to, where to put my hands. I'll touch my snakey if I like Superfly. But how you doing? Welcome. Nothing like a spider in satin PJs, says Rogue. Decepticon says, what's the news going to be today? How Xbox, how Xbox looks like a walkie-talkie. Did you see that? Well, obviously you did. But the Xbox Series X got leaked and then they officially confirmed it. Uh, it does look like a walkie-talkie. Uh, I've heard someone call it a stove as well. To go along with the fridge, that also adds up. I guess we can look it up. Xbox. Nope, can't type. Series S. You see this thing? You just. But look at the price, two ninety nine. But <laughs> I didn't think of walkie-talkie. But now that's all I can see. The walkie-talkie. I like that. Get that shit off my screen before it burns in. I don't want that shit in my screen. Um, Fuzzy Bear says, I like Decepticon's piece as well. Of course, referring to his penis. Uh, but it's, it's a mutilated penis from what I can recall. If I can recall the pictures I've seen. It's one of those circumcised ones, which I don't care for, to be honest. Mr. Jackpot is here, and Mr. Jackpot says, I hope the reveals are the same, or better. After Minecraft, I don't see what other reveals we can get that are better. Feel like we are going to be disappointed. That's why you should always have your expectations rock bottom. And then you can't be disappointed. So what's the worst expectation you could have? Like, what's the worst thing they could say? Mm, a new move controller, but no stick. Just one extra hour battery life. So pretend that's what we're going to guess. And if we get anything better than that, you know, it's a win. Rogue says, I saw someone call it a washing machine and put a Bico label on it. Tantrum says, I hear Sony is going to spill the PS5 beans tomorrow. I hope so. Well, now that Xbox have made their move, even though they're not, like, they haven't revealed the price of the Xbox Series X yet, just the Xbox Series S, maybe they won't. Until they hear the other price. Decepticon says 300. PS5 is going to be 399. I don't think so. I think I think we're looking at minimum 500 for both of those other ones. The Xbox Series X and the PS5. I think. I'd be delighted with 399. Rogue says self-mutilated is okay. But he wasn't self-mutilated. He was just an innocent baby. They took him into the hospital and they butchered him. Kuki Couture. How you doing, Kuki? Welcome. Rogue says, I saw 399 for the X. Hmm, better recheck. I saw a rumor of 499 for the X. The guy who leaked it. He leaked the price of the S and the X. And he got the S price right. So maybe he's right about the X too. He said uh, 499. 
Jackpot says 1440p. 120 for 299 is not bad. See, that's the thing. They say 1440, 120, but that's not going to be every game. That's like, that's the potential of what it can reach. Not necessarily every game is going to hit that. From what I hear, it's got four teraflops, which is like two less than the Xbox One X. So, it's on par with the PS4 Pro in terms of teraflops. Now, I know teraflops aren't everything. And they do advertise it as having next gen performance. And that four teraplop plops. The teraplops aren't confirmed, so that could be wrong. Geisen is here. Geisen is getting moist. Decepticon says no games though, and that's that's the truth. They got a service. That box is to play, you know, the Game Pass games on and XCloud or whatever. Jackpot says, yeah, but I'm okay with 60 frames per second, to be honest. Sure, look, who isn't? Who isn't? Bin Mendez is mildly moist. Let's see if we can get you all the way up there, Bin. I want to. I want to get you slipping and sliding all over yourself. I want to make you a mess of yourself. All right, we'll get there. Jackpot. I hope the PS5 can hit 4K 60. It can. 100%. It will. It's gonna depend on the game, though. It's gonna be game by game. I mean, they've already confirmed 4K 60 for Spider-Man. Um. At least in a performance mode. Where you turn off the ray tracing and shit like that. I'm guessing. Tantrum says Xbox Series S's ray tracing is probably not going to work past 1080p 30. I'd be surprised. It's definitely going to have some kind of big drawbacks. If it's going to be 200 quid cheaper, there's going to be drawbacks for sure. There has to be. But that's still kind of like a genius move from Microsoft because parents are going to go in there. Oh my... Little Billy wants the new Xbox. They see the Series X. They see the Series X. They see the 200 price difference. They're going to go for the cheaper one. They're not going to understand. You know, they're going to see it's next gen. It's only 300 quid. Buy it. So I think it's a good move. Uh, a good business decision for Microsoft. Kuki says, are we speculating on PS Viewer teaser by Friday? Absolutely not. 100% don't even think about that, Kuki. Not a chance. Not a chance. I'll, I'll give you a piss balloon if you're right. That's what I'll do. Fozzy Bear says, my secretions are flowing. That's what I like to see, Fozzy Bear. Bin Man does get on Fozzy Bear's level, please. So just in case you're unaware, we're waiting 20 more minutes. 20 more minutes before the PS blog will update. And give us a new juicy, hopefully juicy, uh, PS Vior announcement just like minecraft can what's the thoughts what's the now that you've had 24 hours to marinate on minecraft ps viewer what are you thinking i've seen a lot of complaints about it not having move controller support sorry for that jackpot says well and i feel not a lot of people have two tvs so that xbox series x should be enough no good games but cheaper console. Well, it play, it's going to play all the third-party games. So even if it doesn't have exclusives, it can play those, you know? Sean Simmons is here, and he says, What's up, Pumpkin? Still waiting for my PS5 pre-order email. Sean, are you, aren't you English? Or, like, based in Britain? The UK? I'm pretty sure that pre-order shit was only for North America, which kind of has me half worried that they're going to do a staggered release, North America first. And then a few weeks later, you're the, like the rest of the world. Which is actually what they did with the PS4, if you remember. We had to wait two extra weeks over here to get our hands on that bad bitch. And it was a painful two weeks for me, let me tell you. Didn't like that one bit. Rogue says, Bedrock on Windows 10 slash Rift and Gear Viewer only support Xbox controller. So there is, But there is a version that supports... The, like, touch controllers, isn't there? And CabWab is here, and he says, I'm not that bothered by Minecraft. Couldn't be arsed. I still think it's good. Like, I'm I'm there, I'm there. kind of there with you. Like, I'm not picturing myself being like, oh, I'd love to get in there and see the world of Minecraft in VR. But it's one of the biggest games ever made. And not even, I'm not even just exaggerating there. It's like, literally, look at the top sold games of all time. Minecraft is, like, number one or number two. It's up there with Tetris. So, it's usually popular, and I think it can move headsets. Big time. 
But what's crazy is that Microsoft own Minecraft. They're competing with Sony. And they're allowing a free PSVR update. So that's kind of... That kind of boggles my mind. Oh, Sean, you're in the US. Okay, never mind then. I've had PS Plus since PS3. Has anyone gotten those emails? I don't think anyone has had Like, you just submit your name and then everyone's kind of waiting. So I don't think anyone's going to get those emails until they make the big reveal where they show the price and stuff like that. I don't think they're going to expect anyone to pre-order us before the price is revealed. Like, you can put yourself in the lottery so that when it is revealed, you like be the one of the first people to have a chance. Uh, Fuzzy Bear says, do you think Squadrons will get HOTUS support? Am I saying that wrong? Am I saying HOTUS wrong? I don't think I've ever heard it said. Uh, Best Buy has them in stock for 79 Fuzzy, like, realistically, think like speaking, I don't know why it doesn't have it immediately. Like, I think that's weird. Like, it's going to have it on PC. Why would they not have it straight away on PS Viewer? That kind of makes no sense to me. That makes me wonder, is there some kind of technical reason that they can't do it on PS Viewer? Not that I can think of one at the top of my head, because it's just a control scheme. Pronounced hot ass. All right. I'll call it hot ass from now on. Uh, Rogue says, yeah, motion controls are supported using a mod for the Java version. Okay, Vivecraft. So it is not official. I see. Bin Mandis says it is number one. So Minecraft, number one game of all time. Getting PS Viewer support. So that is a big deal. Even if you think the game is fucking hot garbage, which some of you do. Uh, which is f- I'm fine with, by the way, if you don't like this game. I don't care. I've never... I played it once on PC about 10 years ago. Didn't touch it again. Uh, where are we? It might shift headsets, says Kooky, exactly. Which is good for all of us. That's what we want. Cabweb says, like, I want, if Roblox, if they said, like, hey, Roblox is coming to PS Viewer, that's great news, too. I'm, I'll never touch Roblox. Uh, but that's, like, another thing that all the kids want. You know? And kids shift headsets. Cabweb says, oh, sorry, very happy for the Minecraft peeps and PS Viewer. It's great news. Not bothered by it. Yes, yeah, I understand what you mean. Great tantrum, Microsoft wants to sell software. I would not be surprised to see more Xbox-based games come to their competitors. If they released Xbox games, like if Halo comes to PS5, that's when I will truly believe that Xbox is not about competing with hardware and that they're all about the software. Until I see that, though, I'm still going to assume they're competing, you know? A lot of people say they're not competing. I think they are. Hodus says tradition. Hodus? With a D? A D sound? Is that how you're supposed to say it? I'm going to say hot ass. I think I like hot ass better. Rogue says, when your kids get older, you'll be able to flex some Minecraftian skill. Man, do you think my kids are going to play Minecraft? I don't know. It's probably better than Nintendo. Kooky Couture says, kids all touching their Roblox. I'm not going to delve too deeply into that comment. Pox601 says, my 12-year-old will like us in V or, says Poxic. Exactly. You got to think about the kids. The 12-year-olds are dominating the game in space. So if they didn't have a PS Viewer headset, and then their little friend who does have a PS Viewer headset, and he's like, oh, check it out. I'm in Minecraft in virtual reality. Bitch, what are you going to do about it? So they're all going to rush home and be like, listen, Billy Thompson's got us. Why can't I have it, you know? They're going to plague their parents. PS Viewer is a sellout. Christmas time, you know. Tony T. Hewis. I have a friend who has not been keen on PS Viewer, but is now getting it because of Minecraft. There you go. Tony T. Hewis over here is the proof in the pudding. It's already having a positive effect. And can you imagine? They bundle this. Sony will be insane not to bundle the PS Viewer headsets with Minecraft. Like, did, they did that with Iron Man, so they that, surely they have to do it with PS Viewer. Great Tantrum says, what the hell is Roblox? Roblox is like, uh, well, Rogue says it's basically the evolution of Lego, kind of. It's like video game Lego, I guess. But it's like massively multiplayer online with like loads of kids players. Sean Simmons, <clears throat> excuse me. My eight-year-old just got into Minecraft. There you go. See, they get them young. Minecraft gets them young. And you think, you would imagine that today's kids will be snobs looking at, like, 
like you think they'd only want the cutting edge like the Avengers graphics but no they're perfectly happy with these fucking square sheep square pigs whatever the hell that is I don't know what that is but everything's a square even the clouds are squares but they're happy with that they love it you know which is fine mmm Jackpot says, Minecraft is definitely going to get a bunch of kids at least to PSVR. I know Minecraft is huge for some. Fozzy Bear says, I had a friend once too. I'm sorry for your loss, Fozzy. Bin Mandez says, and with Firewall. Hmm, I'm not able to follow this uh, train of thoughts. I don't know what you mean or what you're referring to. Braxton Bryant is here. He says, you will be insane not to bundle your fist in your asshole. <laughs> Damn, you know what? I didn't even think about that, Bra Braxton Bryan. YouTube won't let me do that on stream, but as soon as I turn off this stream, guess where this is going. Let me lube that bad bitch up. Daniel Lindsay is here. He says, afternoon, dude. How are you doing, Daniel? I hope you're keeping well. Geisen says, pirated graphics. Exactly. Bootleg graphics. Minecraft looks like a 3D Atari game. Can't stand Minecraft, says Daniel Lindsay. Pixelated says Geisen. Exactly. So, you know, I gotta give a bit of respect to the youths of today for not judging a book by its cover. There must be something to this. I don't know, what what's the appeal? Like PewDiePie, these big YouTubers, they play this shit. Uh, there must be something to it. For a long time, I just thought it was people recreating things, like the Taj Mahal or something crazy like that, and I thought that was the appeal, but there's more to it than that, you know? There's mining, and there's some crafting. Rogue says Roblox is a bit ADHD. Minecraft is great for kids. Redstone is basical, basically digital electronics. Don't know what you mean by that. I don't know what Redstone is. Bin Mendez says bundle VR headset with Minecraft like... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see what you mean. Sorry, Bin Mendez. I wasn't able to follow you because my IQ is in the single digits. Lewis, Gooey Louie is here. How are you doing, Gooey Louie? He says, sup, my bro. The goo is here. Welcome, Gooey Louie. Daniel Lindsay says, I thought PS Viewer was meant to be over 12 years and they bring out a kid's game. Technically, if you're 12, you're kind of a kid, too. I don't consider anyone... Anyone under 16, I'm going to consider a kid. Rogue Viewer says, some dude made an actual calculator. There you go. People making crazy shit. Even though Dreams is over here for like 30 quid and you can do way more, but whatever. Let's not, they're not ready for that conversation. All right. Official I Am Chaos is here. How are you doing, Chaos? He says, it's a whole open world with limitless exploration and you can create anything you want. It really gives you the feeling that you are on an adventure. Okay, I'm done with that. I do like how at nighttime dangerous creatures come out and you got to keep yourself safe from them. So that adds a bit of, like, survival horror to us, even though the monsters are just square block people that <laughs> come after you. But whatever. Geisen says Minecraft looks like a poor man's no man's sky. That's another kind of example, too. I guess. Uh, Rogue says, look up redstone vids. It's crazy what you can build. All right, I'll peep that out. Well, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. All right? I won't lie to you, Rogue. I respect you too much. Jason Ewan says, howdy everyone, welcome Mr. Ewan. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Ewan? Decepticon says, the real plan is get children in headsets early, then roll out, whoa, then roll out that VR army in a few years, exactly. They're going to be having, playing them subliminal mild, mind control messages in their ears. Brainwash them. Rogue says, lol, I meant they built the logic, like the circuit of a calculator. Yeah, that's, I understood what you meant. Unless you're talking to somebody else. Uh, but I remember somebody did that in Little Big Planet too. And it was like just a bunch of strings going everywhere. It was ridiculous. IMK says, I didn't get us until I started playing. Lol, I feel like it will be that for a lot of you. Maybe. We'll give it a chance, you know? It is only 19 euro. So it's probably worth checking out. The game cat in the chat says, hey handsome, what's new today? Well, first of all, let me blush. Second of all, I don't know. We're going to find out in eight minutes. Keep in mind that when they did say that these announcements were happening, they said that it was going to be a mixture of announcements 
and updates to current things. So it could be could be Solaris, a release date for Solaris on PS4. That's possible. First Contact and Sony have a good relationship. It could be Alvo, the beta. That's speculated. It could be Resident Evil Ace getting viewer support. These are all games that we know exist already. But just updates on them in terms of virtual reality. But I'll take Resident Evil Ace over like a new announcement. I'm perfectly happy with that. Perfectly happy with that. As they say in New York. Also, for some reason, the last two streams I did took ages to process on YouTube. So... When I do end this stream, it might be a while before it pops back up, like a day or something. I don't know why. Bin Mendez says Solaris has been delayed for PS VR. It was delayed for Rift. So I didn't hear it being delayed for PS VR because we never got a date for it. Cookie Couture says lockdown VR, open world game, but you can't leave your starting area. What? Is this a COVID-19 game? Rogue says, I have I have an MC multi-world server, Minecraft multi-world, multi-world server. My kid loves to teleport to his mum's world and steal all her shit. <laughs> nice. Bin Mandis says, but don't quote me on that. I won't. Well, I just did. I did. That's the nature of me reading out your comments is that I technically am forced to quote you on these things. Gooey Louie says, mine do too. Like a day it processes. I, yeah, it just started yesterday. I don't know what's going on. YouTube, like, it happens like once a month. YouTube shit the bed. And I, I have to suffer. I have to suffer for it. We're talking about six minutes to go. Probably a little less. Place your bets. I knew they were going to start strong. Minecraft was a strong start. That's like a big one. That's got every, the mainstream media. We're talking about this. IGN, we're covering this. Kotaku. All those big websites. We're talking about this. Will they talk about whatever we're going to see next? That's the question. If it's Resident Evil, I think they probably will. That's a big one too. Well, we won't have long to find out. Let me just double check that it is coming at 3 p.m. Because this could be uh, totally... uh, Yeah. Kicks off today at 3 p.m., which is in five minutes. And we'll have further updates to share each day at the same time. Until Friday. All the way to Friday. So I didn't hallucinate that. That is correct. We're good in the hood. Uh, we got Andre Games on. He says, hey, Petrifying Pumpkins. How you doing, Andre? How you keeping? Ben Mandis says, Star Wars Squadrons. Tick tock, tick tock. You think it's going to be something to do with Star Wars Squadrons? Is that what you're betting on? Could be. Crafty Crayon says, when's Minecraft coming out? Well, that's actually uh, a question I can answer. It's coming out this month, Crafty Crayons. There's no specific date yet. But don't ever shout at me again or you're getting banned. Great Tantrum says, Big mainstream websites just don't talk about VR, but when they do, it is a big deal. Exactly. But it has to be a big deal to make them talk about it. So Minecraft, that's a big deal, you know? Tradition says, Hopefully Friday is another belter reveal too. Exactly. Yeah. Start strong, end strong. Probably the updates in the middle. So today, tomorrow, Thursday. And then, boom, a new announcement. Friday, maybe. We'll see. Ben Mendes, oh, you're just looking forward to us. Well, I'm looking forward to it too. I've actually pre-ordered that. And it's an EA game, and I've pre-ordered it. I feel dirty. Boss, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt this time. Andre says, doing good. I'm excited to see what's coming to PS Viewer. You and me both, and I guess everyone else in the chat room too. Gooey Louis says, I've seen enough of Squadrons. Just want to play it already. It's getting there. Less than a month away. Decepticon says, doing more dreams creating today? Question mark. Uh, I'd be down for that. I do. I've kind of got the bug for it now that I, now that I made that little scene I did yesterday. I kind of want to go and make something again today. Great tantrum says, "What if GT Sport gets full viewer support or Ace Combat Seven? I'd be happy with that. I don't think it's going to happen. 
just because GTA 7 is already on the horizon and because Ace Combat 7 is kind of like, well, if they could have done us, why haven't they done us, you know, already? But I'd be delighted with those. I'd buy a hot ass for Ace Combat 7. Ben Mandis says, Oh, you nasty, EA pumpkin. <laughs> oh, you nasty. A Dinoctopus. Is that what you... I use yours as like a squid attacking buildings. I didn't know there was a dinosaur involved in that scene. I zoomed in. I couldn't see a dinosaur. Two minutes to go. I thought it might be a Watchmen reference as well. The thing you met. Two minutes. Where are you at? Two minutes. Andre Games On says, when do you think people can pre-order the PS5? Just curious. Anytime between... Well, September. Sometime in September. I don't think they can go past September without pre-orders going live. When exactly? I don't know. Like, they've gone to pains to say that this week is all about PS Viewer. So maybe they won't touch it until next week. But then Xbox came along with that announcement last night on Twitter. That might change something for them. I don't know. But definitely, Lola, if it goes into October, then no, all bets are off. I don't know what to say. It can't be predicted. We're a minute away. Where's the latest? Okay, latest is down here. Ride 4 takes races to a whole new level on PS5. EA lies... Oh, Rogue says this, sorry. Whoa, wait, so I missed a comment. Bin Mandis says, My mate Dave is taking PS5 orders right now. Oh, yeah? Send me his number. EA Rogue says, EA lies down and you get right in there with the tongue. <laughs> Spread them cheeks. Andre says, Hopefully the rumor for 9th of September is true. Well, that's tomorrow. And PS Viewer's week is this week, so I don't know. I know it's an anniversary. But I just don't know. Okay, we're currently at 3 p.m. Any second now, it's going to pop up here. Get ready to get hype. Are you ready for the best announcement ever? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Come on. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. It's not up here. It's not here yet. Just give it a sec. Sometimes there's a bit slow. Might take a minute or two before it pops up. Hi, pipe, pipe. Five, 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 God. Mech Venom is here. Long time no see, Mech. How are you doing? Just in time. Here we go. Walking Dead Onslaught. Okay. Rebuilding Alexandria and crafting the dream arsenal in the Walking Dead Onslaught. Okay. New gameplay details. New gameplay details. Look. A little bit deflating because we already know this game is coming out in like a week or two. Boss. Oh shit. Are the pre orders gone live? Yes, you can pre-order it now. So this is from Andrew Abadian from Servios. He says, Hi everyone, last month we announced the release dates and showcased official gameplay for our upcoming PS Viewer title, The Walking Dead Onslaught. Today we're back to dive in to the Alexandria safe zone and explore how the iconic setting plays a critical role in the story and the gameplay of The Walking Dead Onslaught. Starting over after the war. So it's set in the time skip between season 8 and season 9. I kind of stopped watching at season 7, I think. So that's kind of beyond me. Uh, what do you guys think about this? The game takes place during a period with a loss of uncertainty, etc, etc. The war against Negan and his deadly band of saviors has finally come to an end, but the damage they inflicted lingers on in the hearts of left those left behind. Okay, I'm just going to try and go to some... Mm, like gameplay specific stuff we worked with AMC's producers to craft an original story that sees Daryl Dixon and Rick Grimes button heads over their vision for the future of the safe zone where Rick believes that some personal sacrifices must be made for the greater of the good of the community Daryl believes this has put their freedoms to do good at risk Rick prepares the collectivist spirit 
to push society forward through his focus on rebuilding the new world. On the other hand, Daryl represents the individual human struggle in the apocalypse and demonstrates how Rick's altruistic goals might not, not always benefit everyone. Conflicting, conflicting ideologies here, lads. Uh, so calm for PS viewers. <laughs> I'm sorry you got disappointed with that. Uh, Kuki Couture is floppy. Anyway, let's keep reading. These two different viewpoints are embodied in the way players would experience the game, swapping between perspectives as Rick tries to rebuild Alexandria and as Daryl reveals the details of behind a mysterious disappearance. So I didn't think you'd be playing as Rick too. I thought the single player was just Daryl. But it looks like you'd be like swapping between the two of them throughout the campaign, which is pretty cool. This is Michonne, one of the more badass characters in the show. We knew it was important to represent Alexandria in a way that was authentic to the show while adding a layer of interactivity that allows the players to lead the efforts to rebuild the community. The player will start at the heart of Alexandria as their decisions and actions help evolve into a place for new survivors to call home. Players will venture out to collect resources, bringing back food, fuel, etc, etc. Players have full agency over how they want to progress the community, crafting materials that they've earned can be used to upgrade weapons in the armory or build entirely new structures that can enhance your gameplay experience. Looks like they got a targeting range. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I wonder is that manual reloading? Because I'm pretty sure it is move controllers. So it looks like manual reloading maybe. Crafting the dream arsenal. One of our favorite spots in, Alexand in Alexandria is the armory, which houses all the weapons players will discover outside Alexandria. Here, players can explore and experiment with the Walking Dead Onslaught's robust weapon upgrade system, from Rick's revolver to the kingdom's powerful battle axes. Each weapon has multiple unique upgrades to mix and match. Of course, players will need to save up enough materials to craft the upgrades first. Okay, so we got a nice variety of weapons going on here. A whole bunch of melee weapons and confirmation that you can upgrade them. Melee combat upgrades tend to be more fantastical. For example, crafting the adrenaline, adrenaline upgrade grants players a burst of momentary slow motion action against a walker herd. When it comes to firearms, upgrades are designed to be a little more tactical. Ranged weapon upgrades affect the weapon's performance in combat and include visual attachments like vertical grips, hollow sights, and muzzle brakes. In the end, we want players to have a fun time killing walkers on their own terms, and we accomplish that by providing a tool set of weapons that are constantly evolving and changing the way players take on the walker threat that surrounds them. Walking Dead will be available in standard and deluxe editions, starting with a digital first release on September 29th, followed by a physical release. Also, I don't know if that's news to everyone, but physical release confirmed for October. Pre-purchases are available today on PS4 and at participating retailers. Players who pre-order will get exclusive content, which you can see above all this stuff, weapon skins, whatever. We hope you're excited to play The Walking Dead when it launches later this month. Don't fret, we still have more news to share, etc, etc. Okay. So that's kind of disappointing overall for me because I feel like we knew most of this already. I learned two things here. Well, three things. You can pre-order today, that's one thing. The second thing is that you're switching between Rick and Daryl. I thought it was Daryl only. And the third thing is what was the third thing i learned listen just take my word for it oh that was a physical release coming too okay overall uh a little disappointing i think cookie couture says spoiler on the weapons there's a spoiler on the weapons oh you mean like if you don't want to know what weapons you're using okay well uh, close your eyes you know <laughs> close the eyes what do you think? Like, look, I'm still excited for this game. I think this game is going to be pretty cool. It looks very similar to Saints and Sinners, but, like, more realistic. As you can see, these characters, like, the Saints and Sinners had that comic book kind of look, whereas this is going for something a little bit more real. And it's going to be good, I think. Servio's good studio, too. But, yeah, overall, not the big. It wasn't going to live up to Minecraft. It wasn't. All right. I don't know, is there anything else to say? I'm a little bit deflated. I don't know, I had my expectations all the way in the, the bottom. Still a little bit deflated. Um, 
even though this game looks good and I'm looking forward to it. But whatever, all right, just relax. But yeah, chat's kind of gone quiet. I don't know what you think. Are you all kind of meh? Disappointed? I don't know. Anyone super hype over this announcement? Maybe someone's like jumping up and down right now, like, damn, this is all sick. Look at that crossbow, Daryl's crossbow. Yeah, you know, this is probably somebody's shock, Herschel's shotgun, maybe. I don't know. McVenom says no, Geisen says not excited. All right, not really tickling anyone's fancy. All right, well, let's not dwell on the negatives. Let's uh, agree to meet back here tomorrow, same time. Uh, you bring your lunchbox, I'll bring my lunchbox. We can swap juice boxes, we'll see what we each have. And we'll talk about what we get tomorrow. What do you think? Uh, Decepticon says, looks all right. Meh. Andre says, hoping for more, sadly. But we have still three more days. That's despair, Andre. Uh, Frost is here. How are you doing, Frost? Says, meh. Zero interest in Onslaught. Did you not like Saints and Sinners? Just curious. Tradition says, I'm so excited, but I'm able to hide us. Tradition. I think using a bit of sarcasm there if I'm, if I'm going to be liberal. Uh, Jason Ewan says, I'm looking forward to this game, but I feel like they're spoon-feeding us. I don't really want to know anything more about this game, to be honest. Like, once they took the co-op out, I know it's just going to be single-player. I don't really need to know much more. Uh, Fuzzy Bear says, feel like I already knew most of this. Exactly. Fuzzy Bear, me too. <clears throat> Mech says, take care, PP. Mech, thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. That game cat in the chat says, I hope it will be better than the f last Walking Dead viewer game. Oh, you didn't like Sense and Sinners? Rogue says, "We would we say the bear is low so far? Let's hope there's a big one coming. So I think Minecraft put the bear up here. This one put the bear pretty low down. So tomorrow, I'm expecting something in the middle. You know? Uh, <laughs> Chop says, miss this one. Stoned. See, Chopped, how can, how can doing drugs be a benefit if you're missing my content? Daft Dev, how are you doing, Chopped, by the way? Daft Dev says, it's not Alvo. No, it's not. But we still have three more days. Frost says, I like Saints and Sinners. Well, there you go. You might like this one, too. It looks pretty much the same, gameplay-wise. Um, Gooey Louie says, I confess I never finished Saints and Sinners. Somebody get him. Somebody get that guy. Ban him. Andre says, sounds good to me. Can't wait to see what they'll bring us tomorrow. Chop says, GG all. Rogue says, fair call. Chopped, well, looks like I didn't miss much. Yeah, fair enough. Listen, you, you missed the pleasure of my company, which I would say is worth any game announcement. Tradition says, see you all in 23 hours, 40 minutes. See you then, Tradition. I uh, might stream something later on today if I can get permission from the missus. We'll see. Uh, that game cat says Saints and Sinners was just a scavenger game, not for me. I wasn't too crazy about the scavenging aspect, but I just loved the combat and the, you know, the interactivity of everything in that game. It was top notch for me. But we can agree to disagree. Anyway, thank you all for stopping by. It has been a pleasure. But you've overstayed your welcome. All right, get out of here. What the fuck is this? <laughs>